you want to go fast, understanding what slip angle is and how it works is critical. Let me explain. As your tyres reach the limit, they gradually relax their grip on the road and stretch. Due to the elasticity of the rubber, the tyre has to deform to achieve maximum traction. As your cornering speed increases, the tyre contact patch ends up pointing in a different direction than the wheel is actually facing. The angle between the direction the tyre is pointing and the patch the car is following is the slip angle. The tyre's traction limit and its cornering limit is achieved within an optimum slip angle range. These particular tires are at peak traction when there is 6 to 10 degrees of slip angle. So let's take a look at four different drivers and see how they utilize this. Our first driver has probably just started sim racing. He consistently drives with the tires in the two to five degree of slip angle range. The tires are not at their traction limit here and therefore he will be slow. Driver two has a bit more experience however and is known to be a little on the wild side. He consistently overdrives the car, but what does that mean? Well, he always drives through the corners with a slip angle above 10 degrees. The graph shows that in this traction range, the limit of the tyres has already begun to decrease. Our final two drivers are consistently cornering in the 6 to 10 degrees of slip range. Both are extremely fast, both are cornering at about the same speed, and both are driving their car with the tyres at the limit. So what's the difference? Driver 3 is cornering with around 9 degrees of slip, whereas driver 4 is using around 6 degrees. Their cornering speed is almost identical but driver 3's tyres will gain more wear and tear throughout the race and eventually overheat, making his speed fade away. The goal is to drive the lowest possible slip angle that maintains maximum traction. However, the difference in speed between cornering with a slip angle of 2 degrees and 12 degrees may be just a few miles per hour. It's very subtle. Fast drivers have developed a feel for how much slip they're using, and using their tyre temperatures, they can adapt their driving style accordingly. There's no big secret to using slip angle. You just have to get experience under your belt and develop a sixth sense for it. But did you know that driving too fast could be making you slow? Click this video to find out more.